you are about to participate in an interactive experience. And do so by using your vivid imagination. Now close your eyes and relax. Just for a moment, imagine all the muscle groups in your body letting go. Take a deep breath in and exhale now. Take another deep breath in and exhale. And each time that you breathe from here on in, imagine your breath flowing out through your rib cage and spreading relaxation throughout your whole body. Feel the relaxation as I talk to you. Relax all the muscle groups around your face for a moment. Relax your scalp, your forehead, your eyebrows and your eyelids and your cheeks your nose and your mouth and especially those muscle groups around your mouth and lips allow them to relax now make sure your teeth are not clenched together now just relax Relax your chin and jaw and allow all those muscles in your face to just let go. And now your neck relaxes, the front part of your neck, the back part of your neck, right through to your shoulders. Feel your shoulders relaxing completely, letting go of any tension that might be in your shoulder area. It feels so good to do that. And allow your arms to relax now. Your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, relax your wrists, your hands, even your fingers relax and let go. Just imagine your arms becoming very heavy, loose and limp, heavy loose and limp like a wet dishcloth and allow yourself to breathe comfortably and notice how deep and regular your breathing has become feel your breathing Feel the rhythm of your breathing. Notice the contraction and expansion of your diaphragm and of your chest. Allow your chest muscles to relax completely. Right down through to your stomach. Feel your stomach muscles re just relaxing getting rid of any tension that might be in the area. And allow your back muscles now to relax. Those large muscle groups in the upper part of your back. Right down your spinal column and into your lower back. Just let go. Let go completely. 
and allow those smaller muscle groups in the lower part of your back to relax as well. And your hips relax, and especially your legs, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet, and even your toes. Just allow the muscle groups just to relax completely as you begin to drift into a very deep relaxed state. Letting yourself go. Letting your mind and body become one. Feeling good, feeling so, so good. many people sitting or lying there as you are report certain feelings in their body some report numbness in their arms or legs some report a tingling feeling maybe like pins and needles in their arms or hands some report a lightness in their body others a heaviness And some people, when they relax, find they have a need to swallow because their salivary glands dry up. If you have a need to swallow, it's perfectly okay to do so. Going into hypnosis is a very gradual process. And in a moment, I'm going to count from 1 to 20. On each count, allow yourself to drift into hypnosis at your own pace. One, deeper and deeper now. Two, all the way down, deeper, deeper. Three, four, tired and drowsy. Five and six. Just letting go now. Seven. Eight. Deeper and deeper. Nine and ten. Letting go. Letting go. Eleven. Twelve. All the way down. Deeper and deeper now. Thirteen. 14 going much deeper 15 16 just letting go now 17 18 much much deeper 19 and finally 20 deep 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 relaxation as you relax into this deep and special relaxation. Your subconscious mind, for your protection, takes note of all that is happening around you. So my suggestions, which are all for your benefit, reach directly into your inner subconscious mind. These thoughts and suggestions become deeply embedded firmly fixed in the innermost part of your mind. They remain with you long after you come out of hypnosis. You have made a wonderful decision to remove milk and other dairy products from your diet. By milk I am primarily referring to cow's milk. It is one of the most unnatural foods that humans drink. After all, cow's milk is baby food for the baby calf to help that calf grow into a big cow. It contains growth hormones 
and these growth hormones are linked to prostate cancer and to breast cancer. Whether it be cheese or yogurt, butter or ice cream, these dairy products no longer have a place in your life. You are now more consciously aware of what you eat and what you drink. You realize that there are lots of non-dairy alternatives to milk, butter and cheese and you prefer the cruelty-free alternatives. In order to produce milk, the cow needs to be made pregnant and have a calf year in, year out. Once the cow has given birth, her calf is removed. The separation for both calf and mother cow is extremely distressing. The male cows produced in this process may end up in veal pens or are killed because they are of no use. You no longer want to be responsible for this. And then there is the issue of lameness and mastitis of dairy cows. Dairy cows are so overmilked that most suffer painful infection of the udders. This is very painful to the cows. This can also result in traces of pus and blood leaking into the milk. Do you want to be drinking pus and blood? And as for butter and cheese, it takes up to 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese and up to 21 pounds of milk to make one pound of butter. These products are concentrated animal fats and concentrated growth hormones. Full of animal fats that can clog your arteries and put you at risk of heart disease. You are far better without them. You can get all the calcium that you need from such foods as green leafy vegetables, from fortified foods such as soya milk, from tahini, and from various other food sources. And we haven't talked about all the water that's wasted and used in milk production, about the greenhouse gases that are generated by the cows that contribute to global warming and all the waste products that are produced by the cows that can end up polluting our rivers. Dairy products are now a thing of your past and it doesn't matter whether you're doing this for the animals, for the planet or for your health. You can feel wonderful that you have made this decision to stop drinking milk and to stop having dairy products. Ridding yourself of dairy products is one of the best decisions that you've ever made. Celebrities, nutritionists and millions of others have ditched dairy products, recognizing it's kinder to their health, kinder to the planet and of course kinder to the animals. You don't drink milk, you don't eat butter, you don't eat cheese or any other dairy product. You've made your decision, and that is set. Now I'm going to give you some extra suggestions. What I want you to do is to repeat these suggestions in your mind as I say them. I choose plant-based alternatives to dairy. 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 I prefer 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 plant-based alternatives to dairy. Now imagine yourself 
having a drink or a meal where you used to use milk. But imagine instead using a plant-based alternative, maybe soy milk, rice milk, or one of the other alternatives. And notice how good it tastes and how good you feel, proud about the decision that you have made. In a moment I'm going to count from 10 back to 1. With each number you become more and more alert. At number 1, eyes open, fully alert, back in the room, feeling refreshed and rested. 10 9 8, coming up now. 7 Six, five, more and more alert, four, three, two, and one, eyes open. 